Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with an OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula. One of the items, it's a silicone hair dye, dyeing or coloring tool off of my Amazon link that's under the link tree, which is under the video. And that's just a piece of plastic packaging that I left a handle on that's still hanging out. So I've been doing a theme and I did the red and pink and I did the yellow and other things and I'm thinking I'm going to cheat <laughs> as best I can and do the orange. Every color orange and orangey red that I've got and instead of doing what I did the last time I'm just going to put the colors where they appeal to me and then go through and swipe them into place and see what happens. I might even get an interesting piece of artwork on the way. So my oranges are, that's a Decor de Americana 24 karat gold with a little bit of orange in it. The Arteza Fiery Red is probably an iridescent. It's got metallic quality to it. This is, I call that Velveeta, it's actually called Dairy Lid by some people and um, it's a, a mix of the sergeant's, the sergeant yellow and some unicorn uh, spit orange. That is a color shifting red from Folk Art. This is another Arteza, which I think is in the iridescent, and I'm not sure. It might be something similar to Tangerine. I'm having a good time just making, there we go, my painting is done. <laughs> Just putting the colors down is fun. I think this is not open, darn. So this orange is a Hobby Lobby Master's, Master's Touch brand and it was just open a second ago. I know I cleaned it out with tweezers. It doesn't want to stay cleaned out, I can tell. It's not, a f oh there we go, we got some flow going now. Who knows what this is going to be like. This is definitely the cheater's short form version. I have some Arteza color that I know is a metallic. That's pretty much all I know about it. That it's a pearl or a metallic. I still haven't used this orange that has iridescent pearl fine in it. That's a lot of reds and oranges. That's all that's all my stuff. I'd love to have a picture of that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to throw a little bit of Bonita's White Metallic in there. And I might throw a little bit of yellow. Because that goes with orange. And I'll save some of that, whatever that color is for later. So I'm going to grab some yellow. And it's open. Actually, you know what? I would prefer the Golden Hour which is a pearl from Arteza. What fun that pattern is. I should just walk away. That would be cool, don't you think? Oh well, I'll try and save a screenshot. So let's just do... Let's just start. That's what I always say, start. might be great for doing the edges. That's what it looks like. This reminds me of, I'm doing a bunch of shorts, so if you check on the playlists, all playlists, creative playlists on my channel, you'll find shorts. And they're between 28 seconds and a couple of minutes long so far. And if it turns out that this is a stage one and makes a great background for something tomorrow, that's fine too. The canvas starts out primed with white paint, so it means there's really no issue 
leaving the white if I want to. I'm not doing any thinking in particular, I'm just filling in. Somebody's like, I can tell. <laughs> okay, you can tell. I'm pretty sure so far I'm gonna like what I started with better than what I've got. But that doesn't mean that it won't do something new. So let's just do this. I have a few cells here and there, which is not part of the, the major function of this. My OXO omelet turning spatula is a great paint spreading tool. I recommend them highly. There's two different sizes. I have both. I have one small one and like four big ones and I wind up with them all resting in the bucket. I really want some actual yellow now. I don't know what will happen with it. But I'm dying to try it. And then as soon as this is done, I'll just decide what stage it's at. If it strikes my fancy, I'll keep it. And if it is stage one, I'll do a, t a part two. And I have no idea which is it, which it's going to be right yet. I'm not minding it. I haven't taken a step back, which is always good. I kind of want to take some of the white Amsterdam cell activator and uh, put it on my spatula and see what happens, but that might change everything. I was thinking I wanted some gold in there too. It's a lot more yellow than I intended. I wonder what would happen if I put some red in there or some hot orchid. Let's see what does what happens with that. Oh yeah, no, I like that. Might still do some red. I like the texture. There's, it's not really meant to have any, but there's nothing to keep it from happening. I think I want to try some red. Judiciously. Or else. Mm, not a big fan of that. I think I will. Oh, I've got some pink enamel that I never use. And let's just flush that out with a little bit of orange. And take that object out of there that does not belong. Oh, maybe it's just a bubble. Okay. I kind of want some white. I, that's why I keep thinking that it would be good. This is mostly orange. I don't think I let the yellow take over too much. I really wanted to use my card. And add some texture. But the flow troll in the mixture makes that kind of difficult to know if you're going to get any or not. So it's better to have colors. I'll have plenty of paint to touch up my edges. I'm actually pretty much liking this. I wasn't sure I did for a minute, but I definitely do.
still want to try the white, but I'm not sure what will happen with that. And I don't think I actually need cells in this to complete the project. So I'm going to call it good and tell you guys I love you. And that was kind of fast, <laughs> I think. I'm going to put a little more pink in. That is a hot orchid from Color Art. Can't have too much of that, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that I can keep some of the texture. You guys take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Thank you for all the donations that helped keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate that. Thank you even more for all the comments and compliments that keep my morale boosted and keep me bringing you an inspired new videos. You inspire the heck out of me. I may not be the most popular painter on YouTube, but I know my fans and they appreciate me and I appreciate you guys. I love you very much. Thank you so much for being here. I still want some white. Okay, I'm going to do it. Kind of like that. So what that means to me is that I should put some white down in a dish. And use my tool. Or tools. Tools being the keyword. Let's grab one of these little um, little tools from my arsenal of. Yep. Okay, that's working. Cool. Doesn't make me any less interested in. Uh, Seeing if I could make some cells or not. There has to be enough paint to use these tools or you drag down to canvas. But I'm liking the patterns more and more as I play with it. Usually I'm not, I, I didn't used to be somebody who tried to make a video in 20 minutes and I still have time left because I sort of cheated and put all my paint down to begin with. Makes me want to grab some more colors. <laughs> I know, I was ready to say goodbye. So my link tree you should check out underneath the video. You can find my website there. Yeah, I'm liking that purple in there too. And my Legalerist. My Legalerist is uh, clothing made in Montreal with my designs on it. The designers do a good job. If I wanted blue, I would I could put some in here, but I think it needs to be in tomorrow. I don't mind if I pull up a little texture. It's getting it more and more interesting for me. Sorry, false alarm about the ending. Once I figured out I had more time left, it made it more fun to play. And this is going to be an interesting experiment because I will be able to see, you know, what I can actually expect from leaving texture in things. It also makes me think I could get away with more stuff. Like putting a little blue in there. It's worth a try. Yes, I like that. Blue that doesn't turn into green. I think a lot of times it's the metallic. That's a little green. But uh, every little bit of extra color. So 
sort of add something to the design that I like. So far, so good. It's beginning to look like an aerial view of a street scene. I think this is it. And I'm going to say goodbye again. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. I could probably work on this until it gets to be gloppy. No doubt about it. I could just keep dipping my little tools and leaving little marks. So we'll call this mark making. It was fun putting the background down, but it was even more fun adding marks on top. Makes me want to add even more. Okay, am I done? I guess we'll find out tomorrow. I want to scatter some bright purple, excuse me, some bright orange or bright red. Dots and lines. I could easily do it with the white too. I've got two minutes left and I really didn't know that I was going to keep working on this. <laughs> but thank you for bearing with me because I'm having a ball. <laughs> I really am. Like I said, you inspired the heck out of me. I could put black lines in, into another one of these, but for right now I think this is going to work. Where is that color that I used? The red, the color shifting red from folk art over here was um, a little dangerous just because it has a cut top. I wanted more to be able to come out. So what should I tell you guys? Uh, thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for sharing my videos. My email address is, is under show more. When you click show more under the link tree, the first blue link, you will find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and my website and my Facebook groups. And my legalerist is the top link. And that's the clothing from Montreal I was talking about. I want to straighten that out without a ball on the end. I don't know why that is. I have a problem with the ball on the end. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so <laughs> I'm back to being back to working and totally distracted again. And what can I tell you guys? <laughs> Please shop my Amazon link at Noetic Cost to You and it helps me buy art supplies. Really important to keep me making videos. I want to do that. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Know that I have over 2,000 videos, and if you're interested in them, you can ask me for a link or you can go to my channel, see playlists, all playlists, created playlists, and you will find those 2,000 plus videos, almost 2,100, by topic and genre. And uh, like I said, I can help you out. I am ultimately distracted by this. I'm so sorry. My paint pouring recipe and my cell activator recipe are under show more under the video. And I may have mentioned, if I did, pardon me. Otherwise, if you have questions, feel free to ask me. I'm happy to help you. And now that that's all in one place, um, the thumbnail will look more dramatic than I think this will look. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Checking... Telling you to check the community board for tomorrow's video and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students on Facebook and we'll probably have tomorrow's video too. I post seven days a week and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night at 10 p.m. also. Bye for